Hannibal Lecter versus the Joker. Who is the better villain? So this is a video that you guys have requested uh, multiple times. So yet again, we've heard you. I know we're coming through. I don't know who the better villain is just yet, but I do know the Joker is probably better at arranging a dinner party. Because who the fuck <laughs> serves fava beans? <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking gross. And if you like them, you're a heathen. Not to mention one of his dinner scenes involves him, like, cutting someone's fucking scalp off. Yeah, but that's just a theme party. I mean, that's a, that's a good host for a Halloween party. All right, so I went ahead and found some similarities in these two villains. So essentially, they both manipulate and frequently mess with their nemesis. So the Joker does this, especially in The Dark Knight and the original Batman, directed by uh, Michael Keaton. Oh, wait, Tim Burton. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Joker is frequently messing with Batman. So in The Dark Knight, the Joker does that whole thing. Batman must take off his mask or someone will die, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he does that in the original, too, but he's more of a gangster. He's more causing chaos and forcing Batman. But it's all specifically to affect and expose Batman. Hannibal Lecter is locked up in half the movies we see him in, uh, yet still manages to completely mess with Edward Norton and uh, Jodie Foster. Foster. So he's just asking them ridiculously personal questions, forcing them to do things they don't want to do, and really getting inside their heads. So they both mess with their nemesis. They're both obviously sociopaths, and they're both highly intelligent, and they're both master-level planners. Mm. So which one of these two do you think has the edge, and why? It, it's, it's, it's hard to choose, because, I mean, you're looking at them, and they are both kings of chaos. Yeah. I mean, one is just completely insane and off his hinge in The Joker, and he thrives from immediate chaos. You know, not... I mean, they both plan, but with the Joker, there's a lot of off the cuff. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. an unpredictable wild card. Whereas, uh, uh, <laughs> whereas Hannibal Lecter <laughs> is, he's calm, cool, collect. There is chaos at all times, but it is chaos that has been 100% fabricated from his plan. And he cal- he's very calculates everything. Oh, for everything. sure. Everything. He says things for a specific reaction. The and Joker will just throw a torch in a building and see what happens. And I think everyone's scared of the un- unpredictable. And I think that's what would make the Joker an intimidating character is because he is just that unpredictable because he doesn't know what he's going to do next till he does it he has a general idea but the point between a and b has a lot of fucking well yeah three sheets to the wind even in the dark night he goes from one plant to another he starts with forcing batman to expose himself then he completely changes his mind and Mm -hmm. tries to get people to kill the guy who knows who batman is then he tries to blow up a boat then he puts this whole harvey dent thing into action so It's very much like, what can I do to fuck with people next? But it's much grander planning. His plans affect many more people. Hannibal Lecter is much more individual. He picks a specific person and he fucks with them until he kills them or he drives them crazy. The Joker wants to fuck with originally Batman, but it extends to society as a whole. He's blowing up hospitals. He's threatening people. He's corrupting people. So who is superior as a villain? I think because of that chaos that the Joker brings and the unpredictability, it has to be Hannibal Lecter. Because someone who is unhinged enough that they can't stick to the plan, uh, like every villain that's ever been caught, it's always the chink in the armor is when the plan goes wrong. And when you look at Hannibal Lecter... Right, but if he doesn't have a plan... But what I'm saying is the Hannibal Lecter... He's got that fixed. He is going to needle away at it, and he's never going to lose his cool. You know what I mean? Everything that happens and unfolds, he's thought of. Very right, few right. people he's are very calculated. Fun. What are you trying to say? 
the Hannibal Lecter is in jail, so he got caught. <laughs> <laughs> but he ends up out of jail. <laughs> okay. But, and did he you plan almost, to get himself you, in jail though? Was that part of his plan? But that's the thing. You <laughs> that's almost, what you're saying, right? The chaos is gonna get you caught. Hannibal Lecter got but caught. But you almost kind of get like he has no care for where he is. All he well, cares is that he's still a piece on the board. My counterpoint to that is it's hard to catch the Joker because you can't pinpoint a motive. Because it's literally just fuck with someone, fuck with someone, fuck with someone, cause chaos, cause chaos. But it's always different and it's always what he can do at the time. It's much harder to catch someone who like think of it like a serial killer. It's much harder to catch a serial killer who just shows up and kills people without a motive than it is to to catch someone who carefully plans a murder because there it's all motive. Why is he doing it? Hannibal Lecter likes to fuck with people for a long time and he targets them and he manipulates them until he finally gets there and he cuts their scalp off or eats them or does whatever it is he wants to do with them. The Joker is just blowing shit up and then he's gone the and then he's on like, to the next thing. When you think thing. about it, the Joker is constantly in danger, not just from his enemies, but for, for from himself. Oh, he's, Whereas yeah, he's Hannibal much more uh, unstable. Hannibal Lecter always has you at arm's length you are never in a, per, in a spot to hurt him like when he's in prison he's right. protected right. when he when he reveals himself to you in the world he's got something on you that you cannot turn the key he's always got you in check well what i would say is if i were the governor of a city i would much rather have Hannibal Lecter in my city than the Joker. But if I was being hunted by someone, I would much rather have the Joker hunting me than Hannibal Lecter. Was that a ridiculous example? You would never be the governor of the city. Yeah, if I that... was the mayor of a city, god damn it, if I was the mayor of a city... He's gonna be a doctor. If I was the mayor of a city, I would much rather have... Hannibal Lecter running amok in my city because he's going to kill a couple people and he might torture their psyche and blah 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 but you know what's a couple murders for the stat books <laughs> but I wouldn't want the Joker blowing up my goddamn hospitals and boats but if I was being hunted or I was tasked with dealing someone I would much rather be dealing with the Joker I wouldn't want Hannibal Lecter taking an individual interest in me I'll, I just want to point out that you referenced you don't want someone blowing up your hospitals mm -hmm. and boats. Yeah. Talk about two things that have a very differing significance. I'm talking in the about the boats that were transporting all the people in the dark night. <laughs> I'm not talking about my personal yacht. <laughs> Look, the Joker's going to blow up my yacht. I'd much rather have someone trying to eat me. <laughs> I mean, the Joker is much more damaging to large groups. Hannibal Lecter is worse if you're talking about an individual. It's David Fincher versus Christopher Nolan. The Joker is Christopher Nolan, and David Fincher is Hannibal Lecter. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still... It's almost like, if I were to think about it in perspective, like, the Joker is like going to war. Yeah. But Hannibal Lecter is like fighting a ghost. Yeah, I could see that. Like, it's like it's, fighting it's, a highly skilled assassin. It's, it's, no, it's like an action movie, like, tense, versus, like, a horror movie tense. And I... I could see, Yeah, but you're talking about getting hunted. But, but I'm just saying, in, in the sense of a menacing villain... I'd rather chaos of the Joker. Because the Joker, yeah. that's chaos that you understand. But yeah. this is someone who's a sociopath, but at the same point is so intricate and in depth and thoughtful that, that there's not a whole lot I of agree room. with you if I had to deal with him directly I'm I would much rather deal with the Joker yeah I would I would much rather find some clean pants because <laughs> <laughs> so who do you guys think is the superior villain the Joker or Hannibal Lecter subscribe or not whatever fuck you <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> no. Oh. I think Hannibal Lecter is more... He's more dangerous. I fucking snorted. He's more dangerous if... I snorted. 